What's up guys, the Tech Piano Player Kid here, and today, and yes, I am wearing a Minecraft shirt, um, I am going to show you what the inside of a piano looks like, for those of you who do not know. So we're going to go to my piano that I have downstairs here in my music room, which is adjacent to my bedroom. And even though I don't, I don't need the lights, and they're already turned on, I forgot to turn them off, oh well, um... So this is what the piano looks like. You know, it's all closed and stuff like that. You can tell. All right, piano's closed. Okay, so we're gonna lift this part up, open it, and let me put the phone down. Ooh, hello. Okay, so I'm gonna lift this off and put this on the ground. Boy. Okay. This is probably not the best way of doing it, but I have no other way. Okay. Okay. Here you have the hammers and those help when you press the key. And on an upper panel you can see the hammers. On a grand panel you can't get to the hammers. You, you I mean you can see them, but I believe well I don't know if you can actually see them, but you can actually touch the hammers on an upright and on a grand you can't unless you take off take off the strings and everything like that. So on an upright, here are the hammers, and when you push a key, the hammer moves forward and hits the string, and at the same time, the dampers, which is, um, um, actually, let, let me try something here. So I'm gonna lift up the damper, and you're gonna release the damper back. So if I go and do that, and the damper goes back. So as the hammer go, goes forward, the damper lifts up just enough to have that note ring. And then when the hammer goes back, the damper releases back. Unless the pedal is pushed down, then all the dampers are or um, lifted off the strings so then all the strings can ring if you're playing all the notes. Oops. Okay, the strings. Here are the strings right there. I don't know if you can see them. They're kind of, my phone's upside down, but those are what the strings look like. On a piano, there's, at least a piano has about 236 strings. That's something I can have the most. Now some of them may not have that many, some of them may have about 233, some of them may have 215, just, I'm just giving random numbers, but yeah. And in front here, you have the tuning pins, and those allow you to tune the piano itself, and I'll do a video on how that works. And yes, I'll mess up my piano probably a little bit, but my piano needs to be tuned anyway, so. That's what the, ins that's what the inside of the piano looks like. Now, what's this fabric thing here? You're probably asking, you're, you're probably asking. Well, I'm glad you asked. Give me just a second. Let me move this thing over a little bit so I can do the little things here. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, these things are heavy. Okay. Okay, and I can barely reach my foot under here while standing up. Okay, anyway. So, this little fabric thing here is the pedal I'm pushing on is called a practice pedal. And what that is it allows you to make the push. Not all, not all pianos have this. In this case, this one does. And this is the middle pedal. So you push down, and this little thing comes down. See how it's moving? So you push down on the pedal, and you slide it to the left, and I'm taking my foot back, and now it's locked in place. So I can play the piano, and like that. And this is so, like, you know, if I'm... If I'm, you know, my parents are doing something and I don't want to bother them, bother them. Or also use it like, you know, like to listen to the YouTube videos when my piano teacher uploads them. And I learn my pieces by ear, meaning I listen to the piece and then, you know, play it back to her. So she'll tell me the fingerings while she's playing the notes and then I'll play it back to her and yeah. So let's say if I want to do a recording or something like that, 
then I slide the pedal to the right and this comes back up and then it plays just like a regular normal piano. Here you have the other parts of the piano that are connected to the hammers and to the action and everything else. And you can actually replace these if you, I mean, if you really, 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 really have to. And it goes to down here. So this is connect the jack, it's called the jack, I think. So you know, these are connected to here, to here, and then through to here, and to here, through up to, up through here and to there. You can actually, I believe, you can actually take this whole thing off. If you really had to, you can actually take this whole thing off. Now, I'm not gonna do that, um, primarily because, um, one, I don't want to, and two, there's no reason to do that. So, let's go ahead and put this back, and I'll show you the front part of the piano. So you saw the strings, and you're probably thinking, those strings are short. Well, nope, they're not. They're a lot longer than you think. So I'm gonna hold this here because I don't wanna have this fall. So there you can see the strings down under there. I don't know if you can see anything, but those are the strings from the top. So they're going from up through the tuning pins down through, through the piano and then down all the way through here. That's how long the strings are. This still smells like new, I swear. This piano is actually rather keeping me anyway. I got this last year. So the pian the strings are up here. They travel down through here behind the keys, which I can't see, and go all the way down through here behind this panel and go all the way down to here. Pretty cool. And now the pedals, let me show you how this pedal thing. The practice pedal is right here in the middle. Now, not all of them have this. The middle pedal could be something else, you know, like how to, it could be, you know, to hold certain notes. This doesn't have this. But how this works is, in the practice pedal side, you push down with your foot, and then I slide it over, like that. And it holds it in place. And then once I'm done, or ready to play, I push down, slide it over to the right, and lift up. And to the left, you have your regular pedal to make the notes a little softer or make the keys lighter, rather. And to the right, you have the sustain pedal. Listen. Like, if I go... Yeah, let me see. You know, I, I tap on it, so listen. I'm going to put this as close as I can. This may sound weird, but you'll get the idea. So you hear the echo, and then when I lift up on the pedal, it stops. Yep. That's what it does. So basically, if I push a note while the pedal's down, that note would ring. You know, it'll fade away until I lift up that, on that pedal. Oh, you know what? I forgot to turn off the light. <laughs> See what I mean? That's why I don't need the lights. So guys, that's it for this episode. I mean, for this video. If you have any questions, comments, please put them down below. Remember to follow my Twitter. And if you guys want to follow my um, Hangouts, you can. Um, if you guys are not able to find me on Google Hangouts, um, let me know in the comments down below. And I will post... Maybe I can find a way to post a link because I don't want to give that email address out. Well, maybe I can. I don't know. I think you have to. Have, I think you have to have the person's email address to for Google Hangouts. I think. Or do you? I don't know. Anyway, anyway, guys, if if you like to connect to me via Google Hangouts, please let me know in the comments down below. If you don't have a Twitter account, and you would like to connect to me via, via Google Hangouts, 
And for those of you who have YouTube, you do have Google Hangouts. It is for free. Um, trust, and trust me on that. Um, but if you are willing to connect with me via Google Hangouts, let me know. And I'll see what I can do by posting that. You know what? If that if you do, I'll post the email in the in the YouTube comments because I don't use the email very much anyway. So uh yeah. So with that in mind, I'll see you all later in the next video. The Tech Piano Player Kid is out. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Follow my Twitter which is linked to my channel.